Michigan looks like it will very soon become the 24th state in the nation to become a right to work state. But what is right to work really about? Well, the thousands of union protesters who've been screaming and marching outside the state capitol in Lansing want you to think that right to work will make Michigan look more like Mexico, with low wages, lax labor laws, and working conditions that teeter on third world standards. But nothing could be further from the truth. Right to work simply allows workers who happen to work in a union shop to opt out. Workers can already not join the union, but they do have to pay fair share dues even if they don't belong to the union. Right to work means they won't even have to pay if they don't want to join. That's it. So why all of the hubbub? Cash. Money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Unions fear that losing any of their dues will not only hurt them on the job site, but worse, could hurt them politically. The United Auto Workers, AFSCME, and SEIU are all major players in state and federal elections, and they don't want to lose any union dues that they can convert to campaign contributions. You see, Michigan's right-to-work legislation applies not just to private sector, but public sector or government workers. And government workers are the fastest-growing union sector. Government workers are also a key part of President Obama's very successful ground game. You see, the unions get cash from members who are forced to contribute. The unions turn that cash, as well as enthusiastic employees, over to campaigns who go out and work for friendly candidates. When those friendly candidates are elected because of the union power and money, they become friendly politicians who sign off on huge pay increases and benefit increases for union members. And it is those pay and benefit increases that have produced financial catastrophes in state after state across the nation. Want an example? Look at the pension problems in Illinois. So what is right to work really about? Money, political influence, and the fear from big labor that they could lose them both. For Watchdog.org, I'm Benjamin Yacht.